next to the mic, Mark DeBonis. <laughs> All right, how's everybody doing? All right, I know nothing about politics, all right? Like, I'm not even gonna lie. I have no, I didn't vote. I don't know who the governor or prime minister or whatever they do in Toronto is, all right? But what I do know is when something works, use it, you know? Like, hip hop, for example, if you got, there's this video, A Millie by uh, Lil Wayne, okay? And in the video, all he does is walk. It's like one scene, all he does is walk the whole time, all right? Now, in the club, when they play this song, Everyone just walks in lines, all right? They just walk like this. This is all they do, all right? Now, if you have the power to make somebody to walk in a club or people trained to dance for, you should be doing big things with your life, all right? That's... No. I, was in, uh, I was in No Frills the other day, and I hear this guy, he's like... <laughs> he's like, uh, Mark the bonus. And I'm like, yeah, what's up? He's like, huh? Come on. And I'm like, I don't know, man, I'm sorry. He's like, Montessori school, huh? I'm like, what the fuck is Montessori school? For people who don't know, it is school you go to before junior kindergarten, all right? Now, I must have grown at least six feet since then. And how this guy remembers my name and knows what I look like amazes me, okay? And like, what am I supposed to talk about with this guy? So, uh, you still shit your pants or something? Like, I got, I, I got nothing to say, you know, and then, I don't like small talk, you know, but I, I reached a new low of small talk the other day. It's spite small talk. I don't know if you guys have done this. It's when you see somebody that you don't want to talk to, so you try and avoid them, but then you see them avoiding you. And then you're like, no, 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 I do the avoiding, all right? <laughs> you're like, hey, what's going on? What's your, how's life? I don't care, I'm getting the last word all the time, all right? Oh man, being, uh, being from Scarborough, growing up in Scarborough, taking the bus and stuff, you know, you see a lot of fights on the bus, guns, knives, and it doesn't phase people anymore, right? But have you guys ever seen a bee on the bus? It's just, everyone's sitting there and they're watching the bee and they're like, don't get him mad, don't get him mad, he might come over, you know? And I thought about it, I'm like, technically, like, the bees are the terrorists of the insect world, you know? Cause they only get one shot and they're done. I don't, like, they're like the suicide bombers. Like, I don't, I don't know if like the bee king is like, yeah, in your next life you come back as a butterfly. Or if there's like 40 flowers to get depollined or something, you know? I don't, I don't, I don't know, but it messes me up sometimes. I hate bees. <laughs> I, <laughs> I have, um, I've, I've come to terms with the fact that in my past life, I was uh, a drug dealer who died on a drug overdose, and I'm getting the effects now. Because I do not do drugs at all. Like, I don't, I've been, people thought I've been high my whole life. I don't do drugs. I smoked weed one week, and then I'm making traps and falling into them the whole time. It was horrible. <laughs> Like, all I'm saying is don't do drugs, your next life might get affected by it, you know? <laughs> I wish I could have had like a cool problem, like attracting babes or something all the time, you know? But I don't got that. Like, I know you guys like, this guy's a huge babe magnet, but really, I'm not, all right? My only, my only pickup, my only pickup line is, uh, so do you like the party or what? And if she doesn't like the party, it goes nowhere fast. You know, it's just done. So for me to go pick up a girl, I gotta drink a couple beers, you know, try and get comfortable or whatever. But the thing is, when you drink, guys know there's, it's a scientific fact that you can't perform all the time at night, you know, when you drink something. Now, also, it's another scientific fact that when a man is nervous, his penis shrinks. Okay, this is just, I know guys are like, man, mine gets bigger. No, it's in the books, it gets smaller, all right? Now, I'm not a doctor or anything, but do you know what happens to the female vagina when she's drunk and nervous? Nothing at all, nothing. 
It's not like a piece of skin comes over her vagina. She's like, Becky, I can't go home with him tonight. I have no vagina until tomorrow. That doesn't work. All right, so start picking up guys, girls. All right, that's... Oh, my God. So, my mom is really paranoid, you know? She, she's really paranoid, and it's, and it's coming into my life now. And I know that I smoke, I have the possibility of losing my voice in the future. So, I had this idea about making something like a voice will, where I can record my voice and have it on stock, so I don't have to sound like a robot when I lose my voice. So I walk around with this tape recorder now, just in case I lose my voice. I'll give you guys a couple examples of everyday sayings, all right? Thank you, Mark.